If you've been on the lookout for a new windshield for your Can-Am Riker, then you're gonna wanna check out our new Covert Series windshield from the team over at Show Chrome. This shield is available in either an opaque gloss black finish for that stealthy look or with a smoke tint for those that want some transparency. It features tilt adjustable brackets so that you can personalize your level of wind deflection and offers a unique flare design that kicks turbulent air up and over the rider so that you're not battling wind fatigue on those longer rides. The shield measures in at 10 and a half inches tall by 17 and three quarters inches wide and includes all necessary hardware for installation. If you're running the factory handguards on your Riker and you ride with your handlebars in the forward most position, you're gonna need our optional riser kit. The riser kit will lift the shield up and push it slightly forward so that it's compatible with all handlebar positions. Without further ado, allow us to walk you through the installation process on one of our shop Rikers. Please note that the manufacturer does recommend the use of removable thread lock on all metal fasteners. However, be extremely careful not to get any thread lock on the plastic windshield itself. Before you begin, make sure that your Riker is on level ground and that your parking brake is engaged. Use a 3mm Allen wrench to install the four included cut point set screws into the pre-threaded holes on each side of the gauge cluster support. Thread a flange nut on each of the four set screws with the flange portion of the nut facing away from the gauge cluster. Slide a plastic spacer onto the two bottom screws. Tighten down each flange nut against the gauge cluster using a 10 millimeter thin profile wrench while holding the set screw in place with a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. Make sure that you leave 3 eighths of an inch of threads exposed on both the upper and lower set screws. Grab the windshield bracket labeled left bracket and install it on the left hand side of the bike like so. Then add a flat washer to the top screw only and install an acorn nut on both the upper and lower screws, finger tight for now. Grab the bracket labeled right bracket and install on the right throttle side of the bike. Then again, add a flat washer to the top screw only and install an acorn nut on both the upper and lower screws, finger tight for now. Then go back through and snug down the acorn nuts with a 10 millimeter wrench making sure not to over tighten. Next, slide a fender washer onto each of the four included bolts. Then insert a bolt with washer through one of the rubber grommets on the windshield, sliding the bolt through the corresponding hole in the mounting bracket. Then top it off with an acorn nut, finger tight for now. Then repeat that process for the three remaining bolts. Go back through and snug down your windshield hardware using a four millimeter Allen and a 10 millimeter wrench, making sure not to over tighten.
And there you have it, folks. If you'd like to see a Covert Series windshield on your Riker, head over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab one for your bike. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can keep seeing cool content just like this. I'm Jen, and we'll see you out on the road.